A few months ago, Sherpa Equipment Company was kind enough to reach out to us and offer us the opportunity to try out one of their Belford roof racks for the first gen Toyota Sequoia. And as a disclaimer on that, they did provide the rack to us at no charge, but they also did not stipulate anything that we could or could not say about the product. And at first we did make a sort of a, an introductory video of sorts to it where we took it out of the package, we installed it, and we offered some initial impressions on the product. But now that we've had it for several months, we've taken it on several trips. Uh, we've had the opportunity to have some accessories up there and we've been able to live with the product day to day. We are back with a more long-term review and uh, I guess at the end of this video, we want to recommend to you whether or not it's worth purchasing. Uh, but spoiler alert, uh, we've had a really good experience with it overall. Now, one thing to keep in mind that throughout this video, one of the things I'm going to compare this product to is uh, the rack that Gobi offers. So Gobi is pretty much the only other company that I'm aware of that's making specially fitted roof racks for the first gen Sequoia. If there's any others, make sure you comment them below because uh, I would love to see them and take a look at them as well. But as far as I'm aware, for first gen Toyota Sequoias, full length roof racks like this, it's pretty much just Sherpa and Gobi. But there's some pretty significant differences that I'd like to bring up as this video goes along. Now, to start off, one of the things I'd like to talk about is this rack in relation to how difficult it is to install it onto your vehicle. And I have never installed a rack like this before. And when we did it, I would say that it took uh, maybe two hours or so to fully assemble it from start to finish. And we definitely took our time and uh, we didn't, uh, like I said, we didn't have any experience putting it together. But as somebody who's reasonably handy when it comes to working on cars and stuff like that, I found it to be really easy, really straightforward. I did mention in the original video that I was a little disappointed that there weren't instructions printed in the box. Sherpa uh, Equipment Company uh, later up followed up with me about that and told me that the reason for that is just to uh, prevent unnecessary waste. And I don't see that as a problem because ultimately the instructions were really easy to find online and they were very clear and easy to understand. One thing that was a little bit odd was that uh, we didn't receive 100% of the hardware that we were supposed to. We were missing, uh, I believe, a few of these washers and uh, the bolts that hold in the cross rails. Uh, that wasn't such a big deal. Uh, I know for a fact that Sherpa is definitely the type of company that if you reached out to them with a, you know, a small problem like that, they would definitely send out a replacement in, uh, in a very short amount of time. Uh, so that, that wasn't a huge thing, but it is something to, uh, to mention. But overall, the installation of the product was really simple. And the thing that I loved so, so much about the installation was that there was no need for any silicone sealing uh, where the footings uh, mount into the original uh, locations. Essentially, you'll remove the factory rails for this, for this vehicle, and then the Sherpa rack fittings, or footings I should say, will mount into those original mounting locations. So there's no need for silicone sealing and there's no need to drill into the roof. It's really, really easy and uh, it makes for a really nice seamless finish, uh, especially because they include these little rubber uh, boot type things that will seal between the footings on the rack and the roof of the vehicle. So it makes for a nice seal and I'm very confident that no water is going to find its way in there. Now one thing I bet a lot of people will be curious to know about with this rack is how rigid or how structurally sound it is. And despite being made out of aluminum, it is incredibly sturdy. Uh, Sherpa on their website advertises using thicker uh, amounts of aluminum compared to their competitors and I must say that uh, it definitely feels rock solid if you uh, grab the rack while you're standing on the ground and 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 push and pull on it uh, the whole vehicle moves with it it's it's very very sturdy and as you can see right now I've got pretty much the entire amount of my body weight uh, sitting on just two of the cross rails right now and it feels very sturdy. I don't feel the, the crossbars bowing at all. They're, they're very, very secure. 
Also, I want to mention that uh, all of the powder coating throughout the entire uh, rack seems to hold up really, really well. It seems like it's, it's a very high quality powder coating. I have not seen any spots where it started to peel or, or come off at all. Now, another thing I want to talk about in regards to the Sherpa rack is the ease of adding accessories to it. First of all, Sherpa does offer a nice wide variety of accessories that come with it. Uh, however, for adding, I guess, other accessories not provided by Sherpa, it's pretty, pretty simple. The Back when we had a rooftop tent, uh, our Yakima uh, Skyrise tent had a clamp style mounting solution where you simply just uh, you twisted the knobs and it had you know clamps that would mount onto the bar it was designed to go on vehicles with a normal crossbar like a you know a normal normal factory rail and that same system worked just fine with the cross rails on the sherpa rack we had no issues there if you're adding other accessories sherpa uses a uh, a t-nut style uh, solution so there's little T nuts that slide into the crossbars and bolts that are specifically fitted to go down. They use all stainless steel hardware for that, so there's there's no rust or anything to worry about that. And uh, we have a 100 watt solar panel up there, and it was incredibly easy to mount that solar panel onto the Sherpa rack just using the T nuts and the original uh, mounting locations that came from the factory on the solar panel itself. It worked out really, really well, and I think pretty much any accessory you want to add, there's going to be a pretty easy way of getting it up there. Now, a lot of people have asked me since we got the Sherpa rack is, is there any wind noise? And the really short and simple answer to that is no, nothing, nothing really at all. When we first got it, I noticed when we were going down the highway, we're talking 80 mile per hour type of driving, there was actually a slight it almost felt like a, or sounded like a little bit of a wobble on the ferrying up there. Uh, so, so I reached out to the uh, representative I know at Sherpa and mentioned it to him. And uh, he suggested just simply uh, taking or adjusting the fairing and moving it further back, you know, moving it a little bit further up away from the roof line. And that immediately solved the problem. So uh, yes, in terms of the design with the fairing and the whole rack, there's nothing to worry about when it comes to wind noise or vibrations, as long as you get that fairing put in the right spot. So Sherpa has done a great job engineering that to not be obtrusive while you're driving down the road. Some people want to know if a roof rack will impair the operability or functionality of the sunroof. And our Sequoia is equipped with a sunroof. We don't really use it very much. Uh, however, the Sherpa rack is pretty well out of the way, so you could move uh, this crossbar completely out of the way and this one completely out of the way. However, this, this crossbar here is where the footing of the whole rack mounts to, so you couldn't remove this one. Uh, and this one sits just about in the center of the sunroof. The sunroof does just, you know, it does not uh, it's not affected by the rack if you're just, you know, rolling it forwards or backwards. Uh, but if you want to poke your head out of the sunroof or something like that, uh, you're not going to be able to do that probably. Uh, but you still could enjoy having it. Uh, we've got a solar panel over top of it, but of course, you know, accessories out of the way. You'd still have pretty decent operation in regards to the sunroof. All right, now I said that we would come back close to the end and talk about this product in regards to other competitors on the market, the one namely being Gobi. Uh, so I think personally that the Sherpa Rack is just about in every single way a superior product to the Gobi, especially when you take into account two huge differences. Differences in the price and then differences in the lead time. So the lead time for us on this product was 10 weeks. However, I've noticed now that Sherpa has gone back and now they're advertising a six to eight week lead time, which is really, really excellent in this sort of market. Gobi, I believe, advertises 24 to 28 weeks, which is astoundingly bad for such a well-known brand. Whereas Sherpa's, they're, I believe they're still a pretty, uh, a pretty small company and they're managing to make racks so, so much faster. 
And on top of that, I've heard troubling reports constantly of Gobi not delivering upon their lead time. So you think 24 to 28 weeks, you could potentially have to wait even longer than that. And they basically tell you to just deal with it. Uh, so Sherpa is doing a great job. I, I also commend Sherpa because uh, that was one of the criticisms I mentioned with them. Uh, it wasn't really even a criticism. I, I just mentioned it would be nice if it was a little bit shorter of a lead time than 10 weeks. And from what I understand about them as a company, it looks like they've taken measures to step things up uh, to the next level in terms of lead time. So Sherpa's really killing it in that department, especially for a custom fitted and powder coated product like this. They're doing a great job. Now we talk about the price. So the price of this rack powder coated is $9.99. And uh, I believe uh, the freight on top of it was maybe 60, 60 to 100 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. I'm guessing freight for a Gobi rack is probably identical, but the price of the rack itself, uh, I believe they run somewhere between 16 and 1700 bucks. So let me ask you, do you really think uh, any, there's really any significant reason to spend that much more for a Gobi rack compared to this, when this gives you uh, excellent uh, quality of materials, an excellent design, shorter lead time, a great way to mount uh, aftermarket accessories, and also this is just my personal taste, but I think this is easily the best looking rack for the first gen Sequoia and even for the other vehicles that Sherpa makes racks for. I think this is easily one of the best looking. I like that this one is low profile. The Gobi racks are, uh, we'll say they're overstated and it's just not to my personal taste. However, you might love the Gobi rack and more power to you. But in my opinion, this is the much better route to go, especially if you're looking for a first gen Sequoia. And frankly, we don't have a ton of options out there, but I don't really think you need to look any further than the Sherpa rack. So with that, I do want to say one more time, uh, big, big thanks to Sherpa for being willing to send us this product and also being willing to receive some, uh, some feedback on their product. And ultimately we're really, really thrilled with this. I think uh, even if they hadn't provided this product for us, I think uh, we probably at some point would have purchased one for ourselves. It's just a great product, it looks good and it, it works great for the application it was intended for. And we would fully 100% recommend it for those of you out there with first gen Sequoias, looking for a full length roof rack for your Toyota Sequoia as well. Now with that, we thank you for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to see more Toyota Sequoia off-road or overlanding content. In the description, we have a lot of uh, excellent affiliate links on Amazon for products that we like to use when we're out on overlanding uh, adventures. And we hope that you'll stick around, subscribe to see more of those videos and also some adventure videos too. And with that, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.